What are uh, you feel um, some interesting developments in in this space uh, that are happening at the moment, uh, Chip? That that you feel are pretty cool. Well, you know, just like on the boiler coat, additive manufacturing is is also something we're trying to get in thirty one three. Uh, actually, that's probably even ahead of the vessel code because we're, we're, we've actually manufactured valves. We've issued an interpretation that says you can uh, make valves and, and, and fittings to 313. Uh, just don't provide a lot of guidance other than you must meet the material and design properties of the code. But that, that's in development. But uh, right now, the big thing of 313 is we're trying to take the hydrogen requirements that are in 3112, move them into 313 and 318 for pipeline. And, and then maybe sunset 3112, which is the hydrogen piping uh, code book, try to sunset that by 2030. So, so in 2026, the uh, 313 will now have a new chapter 11 yep. addressing hydrogen service. So for four years, 313, chapter 11, and 3112, and 318, they'll all coexist for four years to make sure they're aligned. Yep. And then once they're, we think they're well aligned, we'll, we'll sunset 3112 unless there's opposition in the world to try to, uh, you know, a lot of regulations might cite 3112, but the hoping is now they, they just change the law to say 313 chapter 11.